Alrighty, so in today's video, I will be showing you all how to install and run Photoshop CS5 on 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS. So first of all, this will not work on 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS because of the, some of the software that we're going to be using to run Photoshop. And I do want to say a big thank you to YouTuber Micro Linux for letting me know how to do this. He sent me his video and helped me get this up and running. So I really do want to say a big thank you to him. Check out his video of Photoshop running on a different single board computer called the Red Axis Zero, which has similar specs to the Raspberry Pi 4, but it's in the form factor of a Raspberry Pi Zero. So it is a really interesting single board computer. But yeah, so let's jump right into how to get up and running on our Raspberry Pi 4. So first of all, we are going to be using some software called a Box86 and Wine. So Box86 is going to allow us to run x86 Linux applications on our Raspberry Pi 4, but we Photoshop, as you know, isn't available for Linux. Photoshop is only available for Windows and Mac. So we're also going to be using software called Wine. Wine allows us to emulate Windows x86 applications, but Wine doesn't work on the Raspberry Pi 4 without Box86, at least with this method. So we have to add both of those together, and then we're going to be emulating Photoshop. So this is kind of a complex uh, procedure, but it's not that hard to install. So yeah. And to install both these applications, we are going to be using an application called PyApps. PyApps is going to help us to install Box86 and Wine, but you will need to provide your own files for Photoshop CS5. So let's head over and install PyApps. So in your browser, just go to type in PyApps and go to this link right here. I will also link in the description if you also want to click it from there. So it's going to be on a GitHub page. Scroll down to to install PyApps. Copy this right here open up your terminal from the top or wherever you have it click paste hit enter it's this one line command and we'll install pi apps on our raspberry pi all right so right here it says installation is complete so we can hit this x button right here and we'll go right here and go over to the accessories tab and find pi apps so pi apps has a lot of other applications too but for this video we will be using Y. So like I said, we will be using Box86 too, but when you install Wine from PyApps, it automatically installs Box86 as well, so you don't have to install them separately. So right here is Wine x86. I'm going to hit the installation button. If you want to read more about it, hit this I button right here, and you can read more about what it is. But right here, we'll click install, and it will start installing on our Raspberry Pi 4 to get Photoshop up and running. All right, so Wine is done installing for me now. So we have Wine installed on our Raspberry Pi so we can close out Pi apps, we don't need it anymore. And here if we go to system tools, you can see that we have all of these Wine applications. But first we are actually gonna need to install some special like dependencies type of things to be able to run Photoshop. So I have this little Thing that I need to type in the terminal. So I will leave this in the description so you could copy it over into your terminal as well. So just copy that from the description and paste it into your terminal like this. Just hit enter and this will take a little bit of time as well because it's going to install different things with wine tricks to be able to show Photoshop correctly or for it to just work correctly on our Raspberry Pi 4. So let this thing install the needed dependencies. Okay, so during the installation process, you're gonna see this little pop-up right here. It's gonna to be to install Microsoft Visual C++ 2005. So hit yes to agree. And it's just gonna install all the necessary files for this dependency that we're gonna be needing during our Photoshop installation. And after some time, you're gonna have another pop-up right here. Just hit e next, and this time it's gonna be 2008. And you can read the <laughs> terms and service if you like. Hit install, and just let the setup go through. Install Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 for us. Hit finish, and then we'll, it will continue on with installing the um, other stuff with Wine Tricks. So that installation process does take a little bit longer, at least for me with my internet connection, but it is installed now. As you can see, we're back to our little icon right here, like we're done. So we can go ahead and close out of the terminal and yeah. So we are ready to try and run Photoshop CS5 on our Raspberry Pi 4. So first of all, I wanna say that my Photoshop version right here is my downloads folder. I don't have an installer, mine's like already unpacked. If you do have an installer, 
you probably will be able to run it just run the installer the same way and hit the next buttons and go through the installer and it probably will work but i personally haven't tested it that way but right here i'm going to go over to my app folder into a Photoshop CS5, scroll down till I find Photoshop.exe. So I'm gonna need that file. Well, how do I run it? Well, I'm gonna go over to Tools, go Open Current Folder in Terminal, and I'm just gonna type Wine, just Wine, Photo, I could type right, Photoshop.exe. I'm gonna hit Enter, and hopefully it's gonna try to run it using Box 86, as you can see. And then we'll have Photoshop, I mean, running. It is going to take a little bit of time to launch. I mean, you can't expect the best performance on a small device like this while an app like that being emulated. But as you can see, it is coming up. And after a little bit of waiting, hopefully we'll have Photoshop up and running on our Raspberry Pi 4, which is kind of a weird and cool thing to say at the same time. All right, guys, here we go. We have Photoshop up and running. And while this is running, you are gonna wanna leave the terminal open in the background because we ran it through the terminal. If you close the terminal, I'm pretty sure that the app would also close. But as you can see, even our closing icons right here look kinda like the Windows 7 days or the other ones like that. So let's open up a photo and see what we can do. So I'll go File, give this a second, hopefully it goes. Op um, we'll go Open, and I'll open up my wallpaper picture that I have. home pie we'll go over to downloads and we'll open up our wallpaper flare.com this image right here click open give it a thing to load up i mean you are gonna have to wait some so here we go guys we have our photo so let's try to add some text so we'll open up the text box right there and can we just kind of just do it like that so is that gonna work let's try typing in here let's type luke's tech so all right, so let's try the text one more time. So we have it right here. Here's our text. And let's try to type something. So it doesn't show up immediately while you type, which is a little bit annoying, honestly. But I mean, that's just what we're gonna have to live with. So I'll copy that. And this time we'll try making it a bigger 60. Let's change the font to something like URL Bookman. And yeah, so let's hit enter and see if we can actually see that this time. So as you can see, I played around a little bit. I got this text to show up right here, but you know, I don't know Photoshop that well. I really haven't used it in the past. So you, I mean, I'm not a professional. I don't really know what I'm doing so much, but let's try again to see the, show you guys the real time performance. So it did take quite a long time for it to show up. So we'll just type in something like Luke's tech. We'll copy this right here and we can change the size to the largest 72. If we change the font to Comic Sans, and we'll change the color as well. So we'll go down to something like red, click OK, and we'll just hit enter. And you know, this is like, I thought that it wasn't working honestly with this text right here, but it just took a little bit of time. So it definitely, it does take quite a little time to load up. So you're probably not going to get the best performance with Photoshop on your Raspberry Pi 4. But for some quick editing tasks or just if you're interested in playing around, this is a cool tool that you can do. Like you all, I mean, I think everything should work. You're just like, look there, Luke's text, <laughs> not all of it's Comic Sans. And yeah, so there definitely is some lag and you're not going to have the best experience. But you got to remember, this is a uh, $50 computer well it's more expensive now with all the chip shortages but yeah so I know I didn't show much performance in here but I'm just I just don't know too much about Photoshop but we could let's try one more thing so if we try the cropping feature so we hit enter oh see the cropping feature works not that bad actually we could do that crop that out and you know it's it's a little bit more responsive than the text so yeah so if you want to look more in the performance and i mean it's a different single word computer but check out micro linux video i will leave a link down below so that's how to get photoshop running on your raspberry pi 4 which honestly i think is kind of cool so let's try to export it 
So let's go save as PNG and we'll save it. We'll save it in the downloads folder. Click save and click OK. Alright, then we'll go over to the downloads folder real fast. We'll go open image viewer and look it did save our photo that we added text to and that we cut and different things like that so you can actually use it and export photos and it should work properly so i'd say it's a pretty cool and it is somewhat of success you're not going to get the best performance but hey it still does work so before we end the video let's install gimp so if you don't know what GIMP is, GIMP is another photo editor that many people on Linux love and use. It's free and open source and it works out of the box on the Raspberry Pi 4 running 32-bit or 64-bit operating systems. It's like Photoshop, but it's not made by Adobe. So this honestly probably is a better option for you to be running on your Raspberry Pi 4 because I do assume that you will get better performance but as it installs we'll take a look at it and see if that's actually true. Alright so GIMP is done and installed we can go right here click this icon right here we'll go to graphics and it's going to be GNU image manipulation program so we'll click that right here and this does take a little bit to launch but you see, it's just a little bit easier to launch than Photoshop. So here we have it. You see it's open, we'll click File, we'll click Open, and we'll click our wallpaper flare photo right here. Click Open, and we'll just click, click Convert. So here we have it guys, here it is. So let's say we wanted to add text because that's what we did before, and let's see how fast the text is gonna respond. So, I mean, you see, it, it just already, there is a tiny bit of lag in there, even with this, but, you know, it just responds a little bit better than the other one. And, you know, I'm not trying to say that the other one's bad. I'm not. It's Photoshop is a cool software, but on the Raspberry Pi 4, you're probably going to get better performance by using GIMP and it's free you don't have to own anything you don't have to emulate anything and you look you can just run GIMP like this again I don't use it that much so I haven't done much with it I don't know so much about it but I know that a lot of you do well some of you guys so yeah so I would probably recommend using GIMP instead of Photoshop but yeah guys we've come to the end of the video and I hope this guide was helpful to help you guys get Photoshop up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4. Sorry for not showing so much performance but it's just not what I do best. So yeah thanks for watching. Oh and a subscribe would be incredible.